and subscribe. And I guess I hope you guys come back for the next one. Bye. Did I do that right? The ending. Because mm -mm. you got <clears throat> you gotta say it in order. You gotta say like, share, and subscribe. And then also throw a comment underneath on the my presentation of my food. <coughs> you gotta bring in our new subscribers. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let okay. the old subscribers know to leave a comment. You, well, I mean, you you asked me to come on, Apple. Don't make this an argument. Um, I'm not making this an argument. You just going on and on and on. Well, that's because I'm trying to get you to do it right. All right, guys. So that's the end of my video, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the presentation. Mike will be tasting it. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And all of my new fans, please. What? <laughs> Cause you don't know what do like I said. Tell them like, share, and subscribe. For the new fam that already subscribed, go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And for all of our old old heads out there, that's say old heads. I knew already. That's part of the new fam because we're we're trying to get new subscribers. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And all of our new fam, you know what to do. Go ahead and click that like button and leave us a comment. What up, new fam? Happy New Year. So we're back with another video. And I'm going to be doing a blue apron cooking video today. And what we're going to do is um, I'm going to cook the dish we get two meals in each box so i'm gonna cook a dish mike will cook another dish but my dish i will um have him to taste my meal to see if it tastes good and i'll do the same for his but i want you guys to actually rate on the presentation so you know your girl gonna be doing it up today and i want y'all to uh, let me know how i did so i'm gonna be preparing the roasted cauliflower and lemon pasta and we're gonna see how this goes if you don't know, I ain't the world's best cooker in the world, but I can follow some instructions now if you give me that. What my instruction pe uh, people out there that need some instructions? Am I the only one? Please don't make me feel like I'm the only one. So the first thing it calls for is for me to um, wash and wash out my produce. So that's what I'm fixing to get ready to do. I don't know if lemon consider the produce, but we're gonna wash it. All right. No black, but we wash everything. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn my oven on. Give me a second. It says to fill a large pot. Uh, three fourths of the way up with salted water. So I have my pot right here. And I'm using some natural sea salt. I'm gonna cook this up here. All right. Then we're gonna boil it. Now we're gonna cut out and discard the core of the cauliflower and then cut it into small florets. and I'm gonna drizzle it with some olive oil and season it with salt and pepper. 
And then I'm gonna toss it around and then uh, put it in an even layer on the pan and pop it in the oven. My water is boiling over here, so I'm gonna turn that down to low. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up, or toss it, to um, get an even layer of the olive oil on the cauliflower. This is a long piece, we need to cut that one a little bit. like I'm starting to become anal to make sure that all the pieces are small. So let me stop right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these into the oven. Once the um, oven has, um... oh dang, I forgot to put my salt and pepper on there. So I'm fixing to get ready to put this in the oven. The, um, it has heated up to 450. Now, while I was gone, I noticed in the instructions that they wanted me to boil the pasta in three fourth cup of water. But the way that they have it is they have it sitting on top. Let me show you. So they want you to cook it like that. I don't cook my noodles like that. I put my noodles off in the pan and boil them. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna need some more water in my pan. Or my pot, rather. And turn this bad boy back up to high. Put a little bit more salt in there. And boil it. While that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is to um, prepare the re uh, remaining ingredients. So it's wanting me to peel one clove of garlic. So I have my garlic here, and I'm gonna bust that bad boy open and take one out, take a piece of clove out, take a zester. If I said cut, cut up the um, garlic, I, I can't remember if I said that or not, but I didn't. You don't cut it, you uh, zest it. So I have a small zester over here that I'm gonna use instead of cutting it up with a knife. So which one you think I should use? Do you think I should use this one or that one? I think I'm gonna probably use this one. I'm struggling, but it's, it's great. Yes, I'll cut that. What a new fan. I said I'll cut this out. No, we're not 
So, since Mike want to bust me out about my name, Garlic, I'm trying to follow the instructions, but I it is to easier. You out, boo. I'm just trying, I'm looking out for your fingers, because that, to me, that was not safe, <laughs> you doing that. <laughs> well, I didn't cut myself. I, that's what I was afraid of, because that's what I was sitting there saying, okay, let's go with the mint's Garlic we already got in the refrigerator, because that's going to take more than just one clove for you to zest it. Eat some garlic. Okay. See y'all, I love my wife. I don't want her to cut herself. I'm just gonna get a little bit out since I've already zested some. It says pe uh, peel and thinly slice the shallot. So that's this little baby right here. I'm going to uh, zest a, a lemon to two teaspoons to get two teaspoons. So I'm gonna use, I think the bigger one this time. Oh, that ain't doing that. We need the small one. some of the juice from your lemon to get a zest taste. Yeah, after all of that, this is what we got. One, take, one teaspoon. That ain't even no teaspoon, cause this is a teaspoon right here that I'm holding. <laughs> got half a teaspoon. So now I'm gonna move over to making my garlic breadcrumbs. So it says in a medium pan, heat two teaspoons of olive oil on medium high until hot. So here's my pan for that. It says two teaspoons, but I'm gonna add a little bit more for good measure. Medium high. Check on my cauliflower down here. I'm gonna turn this down. A nice golden brown color. Look how nice and golden brown it looks. That's nice. Looks good. Right here. Go ahead and open this up. Uh oh. 
those in there. Has anybody ever tried caper? Alright, so this is how that's looking. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at these noodles. Let me turn them down a little bit. Now that I've let that cook, I'm going to finish the pasta and serve your dish, or serve the dish. to the end of my video make sure that you all go down to the comment section and rate and tell me how it looks mike will be tasting the dish and he'll let you guys know how i did there's no meat in this dish we both love meat so um it'll be something new that we're trying with this one So I'm back and I got my wonderful dish that I made sitting on my lovely table in front of my husband, Mike, and he is going to taste it and get his opinion, give his opinion. So let's go. So babe, what am I eating? You're eating the roasted cauliflower and lemon pasta. Cause it ain't got no meat in it. Exactly. <laughs> Once you squeeze the lemon on it, babe, it gives that it calms the heat down. I rate this. Look, I'm not really a big fan of capers, but that's that gonna take a point off for me. Damn. And you knew that. You know I don't like capers that well. It don't matter. But I give it a nine. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to be a little lower than this. Mm -mm. The reason why you're nine because it's got the heat. It's got noodles. I like noodles. And I like cauliflower. So. Okay. You just do without the capers. I can do, yeah, I can do without the capers. What about, do you taste the cheese or the crumb, bread, bread crumbs on there? Oh, yeah. You, you can taste that. You can taste that on here. Okay. All right, so once again, you guys, this is the roasted cauliflower and lemon pasta with garlic breadcrumbs. And sorry that I'm looking down because it's a, a long title to this dish. But um, once again, we appreciate you guys coming back each time that we post a video. And um, you'll be helping us out a whole lot if you would watch the videos, if you would you know, share them and comment on them and like our videos. And but we both hope that you all are having a great new year and we shall see you guys another time stay safe yes peace